Wow, it's so fast. Do you believe that SpaceX has revealed Starship Version 3? Meanwhile, just two months ago, we saw his announcement about the end of Version 1 and the fact that Version 2 is coming next. Couldn't believe how fast they went. So, what is special about this new version? Let's find out in today's episode of Tech Map. SpaceX always knows how to please its fans by actively sharing information surrounding its rocket development process, especially Starship. As a result, SpaceX fans like you and I sometimes believe we know enough about Starbase's day-to-day -day operations. However, the reality is a little different, as SpaceX still keeps a lot of information to itself, and what they show us may just be the tip of the iceberg. See what Elon Musk tweeted in November last year. In a tweet posted on November 24, 2023, Elon Musk shared a photo showing four Starship upper stages standing vertically at SpaceX's Boca Chica facility in South Texas and saying the quartet will be the last of V1. Version 2 comes next, marking the next phase in the company's iterative development process. While the world is discussing enthusiastically how will Starship Version 2 look like, the announcement of its successor adds an extra layer of surprise to the space community. Crazy to think how quick the Starship team was when Version 1's second flight test was just completed two months ago, but they now enter a much higher level with Starship's third version while the second version remains X-Factor. In the SpaceX company talk recently, Elon Musk talked proudly about the miracle things that his company had made. As I was saying earlier, rapidly reusable, reliable rocket. Yeah. And we've got yeah, a block, sort of a version 2 ship that will be more reliable, better performance, endurance. We've got a, a version 3 ship design that will stretch, that, that be even taller, probably end up being, I don't know, 140 meters before it's all said and done, maybe 150 in the end, in, in, in length, yeah. So it'll be even taller <laughs> than it currently is. According to Musk, version 3 will be the largest rocket ever, taller than its two predecessors. Honestly, it's not surprising that Starship versions will get higher and higher in the future. He also hinted at this in a tweet last September, likely to be 10% to 20% longer in later versions. With 150 meters in height, the V3 will be higher than V1, up to 25%. Based on the previous speculations, version 2 will be stretched to 10% to get 132 meters in fully stacked status, meaning V3 will be higher than V2 by roughly 20 meters. Because Elon Musk did not go into detail, we can draw educated speculations based on the progression from Starship V2. Version 2 is poised to feature nine Raptor engines, a notable increase from the current six engines. In Version 3, we haven't heard anything about expanding the diameter, so let's assume the number of Raptors remains at nine. Thus, to lift up a bigger mass, SpaceX might introduce a more potent version of the Raptor engine to further enhance payload capacity. Along with teasing a Starship V2, Musk also highlighted the development of its next-generation Raptor 3 engine, which he said would have a higher ISP than the Raptor 2, generate 20% more thrust, and achieve 350 bar chamber pressure, 269 tons of thrust. Thanks to 269 tons of thrust each Raptor V3, SpaceX's Starship Super Heavy is expected to generate 19.5 million pounds in total at liftoff, nearly three times the power of NASA's Saturn V. Saturn V is the rocket that propelled NASA Apollo astronauts to the lunar surface. It generated 7.6 million pounds of thrust. However, when Saturn V retired, NASA developed a new rocket called the Space Launch System, which generates a maximum thrust of 8.8 .8 million pounds. NASA says the operational rocket exerted more power than any rocket ever when it lifted off in November 2022. But see how SpaceX Starship humiliated the SLS during two recent flight tests with its capability to generate twice the thrust of the SLS. Additionally, Raptor V3 will be reliable enough not to require a heat shield. For Raptor's regular variants, the heat shield is used to protect more delicate things like wiring, plumbing, etc. from the heat of the exhaust coming out of the engines.
These covers, which are made of stainless steel, also used in many areas beneath the vehicle, which could be related to the extra heating in that area. Because of the material's properties as well as its wide coverage in engine parts, the heat shield plays an important role in adding mass to the Raptor engine. So how did SpaceX remove the heat shield without harming the engine itself? Elon explained that, if we can delete and integrate enough secondary structure, small fiddly bits, then we can locally protect rest and delete engine heat shields. Oh, really? Do you think that Raptor V3 can be reliable without the heat shield? Share your opinion in the comments. Next, before continuing, if you found this information useful, let's subscribe to the channel and enable notifications to stay up to date with the latest news from SpaceX and the world of space. And now, let's go back to today's episode. Then, the appearance of the more powerful Raptor V3 also leads to another question. Does the Raptor V3 consume more fuel or not? In other words, how much propellant is needed for a bigger rocket, namely Starship V3? Theoretically, six engines require 1,200 tons of propellant, while the amount of propellant for nine engines is 1,800. I'm pretty sure that this principle also works for Starship V3's upper stage, no matter which type of Raptor it uses. And the boosters use Raptor 3 engines, but will likely not see a lot of change apart from that. In short, this third generation of rocket might not consume more propellant than V2. Or even Raptor V3 will most likely be more optimized to save more energy, thereby decreasing the necessary amount of propellant. This makes sense because Elon's purpose to increase the rocket's size is to expand the rocket's payload capacity, not carry extra propellant for the additional engines. He confirmed that, Starship is intended to carry a lot of people on tens of thousands of flights, so needs to be extremely reliable over time. It will be. Tens of thousands of people is an extremely impressive number, much larger than the currently announced number of 100 people. It explains why expanding payload capacity is always a priority for the company. In addition, if you stay up to date on Artemis 3's progress, you will know that SpaceX plans to launch roughly 10-ish Starship tankers to fill a depot. This is the company's significant attempt to reduce the needed launches in Artemis 3 instead of the high teens number previously given by NASA. Of course, to make it happen, the tanker's payload area must be stretched as much as possible. Another possibility is that the Starship V3 will not have a significant difference in weight compared to its Starship V2 and not be much heavier than the V1. Bigger, but does not mean heavier, and this is true for Starship case, as SpaceX always follows the spell. The best part is no part. It starts with the engine part, once the steel heat shield is partially or completely removed, the total dry mass of the engine is significantly reduced. Not that enough. As I said, if SpaceX can make the Raptor V3 consume less energy, then the amount of propellant required for each launch will not matter. One way to install three additional engines without gaining the rocket's weight is to focus on the thrust aspect. Indeed, nine engines will generate more thrust, meaning less gravity losses during ascent, which means more payload capacity, so SpaceX does not need to upsize the rocket much. The third possibility is that they will use thinner steel, but that seems unlikely. Thinner steel would also need more internal supports, which would add more weight. Actually, SN 7.2 was tested with three millimeters of steel instead of four millimeters back in January 2021, so maybe they are switching to that. And that just about wraps it up for today's episode. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification feature so you don't miss any space important updates. Your support is our driving force to continue delivering high quality content. Thank you, and we look forward to seeing you next time.